The snow may have stopped falling, but there's still plenty of it around. Just take a look at this. You can see there's still a couple of inches on the ground here in Beaver Creek right now. Streets, though, that's a very different story. Road crews have been working around the clock to keep them clear. Take a look. You can see 675, 35, both moving pretty smoothly at this point. But officials say it was a very different story this morning. Forget slowing down. It was no going on 675 this morning near Colonel Glen. Around 745, a two car crash brought traffic to a standstill while tow trucks pulled the vehicles from the ditches. And things weren't much better the other direction. That's where we caught up with Jessica Jones, stuck in the snow south of Indian Ripple. I'm just a little shaken up, but I'm just more upset I got to pay $100 to a tow truck to get me out of here. <laughs> But I'm okay. Jones says she was getting on the highway when this semi started to lose control. In an attempt to avoid a crash, she ended up in the ditch. Frustrated and late for work, Jones says the accident could have been avoided. He shouldn't have been in the fast lane. <laughs> you know, it's a highway. There's there's high speed here, and uh, you know we get weather like this. Um, sometimes it catches people off guard. They travel too fast for the conditions. They're not, you know. Um, they just get too fast, and they lose control, and we get these all the time. But emergency workers say in this situation, things could have been much worse. Deputy Chief John Merck says these guide wires kept the semi from going into oncoming traffic in the northbound lanes. He says they did their job, and as a result, everyone is walking away safely from this crash. And so it's very dangerous for us. Uh, being out here on the highway, try, we try to be as safe as we can and take care of these incidents. And, and devices like this sure help us to keep the, uh, you know, the vehicles where they're supposed to be or in one lane of traffic, kind of minimizes the, uh, you know, the damage. And even though most of the roads are clear in our area at this point, officials say you still need to take precautions. Slow down and allow plenty of room between yourself and the car in front of you. Reporting in Beaver Creek, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News.